I think we've made some progress, but it is not yet nearly enough. We know what we need to do, which is to halve global emissions this decade, between now and 2030. We know the pledges that have been made add up to much less than that. So we've got to make sure that every country, particularly the big countries, feel the pressure to do more and close this gap, because that's what we need to do to keep global warming to 1.5 degrees, which is essential if we're to avoid dangerous heat waves, flooding, drought, uh, people displaced as a result of climate, the destruction of our natural wonders. We know how high and important the stakes are and we know countries need to act and to do more than they're doing at the moment. The UK has good pledges about what it wants to do internationally by 2030 in terms of its uh, action, but it has done some things in the last two years which have not been good in terms of showing that we are true about our climate commitments. So we have uh, looked at the idea of a new coal mine, but we want people to go past coal. We're doing a trade deal with Australia, where we're saying that they can be softer on their temperature commitments. And we cut overseas development aid, which I think was the wrong decision. So we support the government in wanting COP26 to be a success, but we will hold them to account on their failure to carry through on their good intentions in the actual delivery of what they're doing. Uh, Telephone number, maybe? Yeah. <laughs>